Mike Nelson mm-hmm. Show is brought to you by Oxbeam. If you want a ball brighter than dicks, go no further than Oxbeam. How you doing today? Welcome to the Belsif Show, eh? Today on the Belsif Show, we're going to install ourselves some Oxbeam H4 headlight bulbs in the Kia. Freaking right we are, boys. They sent me some LED bulbs for the old Kia. F16 H4, boys. So, there's a box they come in, and inside we get, boys, we get two stickers we do, eh? Two ox beam stickers. Why wouldn't they? Friggin' right, they should. We got an owner's manual and a warranty card, boys. If you have any questions, please contact us. Why wouldn't you? And we get the bulb instructions, which we don't need. Frick no. Here's the bulbs. Check out them bulbs, eh? They're friggin' decent. Hopefully they don't flicker like the ones that are in the Kia. But we'll find out in a minute we will. So it comes with two of them. Two of them. And it comes with a box. Series F16 input voltage. 12 to 24 volts, model number, fuck the final bubba. Model number, can't see boys, H4s, high low beam. Friggin' right. So that's about all that comes with him, and that's about all you friggin' need. So we don't need that. I don't need that. So let's get right to her here, right after I change the battery. But if you want yourself a pair of these before you change the battery, don't forget to click on the link below, and it'll take you right to the old Amazon store where you can get yourself a pair of these bulbs. Friggin' right they do, hey? They have all sorts of different bulbs, boys. You can pick them for any size, shape, any color, any anything. Friggin' right, you can. Free Chevy, Dodge, Ford, Honda, Toyota. Friggin' whatever. They got them, boys. Girls, peoples. But uh, don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this video and thumbs up and uh, share. Why wouldn't you? But uh, I'm just going to change the angle, the old dangle, the old camera off, and then we'll get right to her. Friggin' right, we will. Decent. Ow, my back, boys. Frig. Okay, so when you're putting H4 Oxbeam headlights in the old Kia, first thing you need to do is... Take out this 10 mil bolt, I'm thinking. Let's ratchet strap this thing out of here. It's been a while since I changed the headlights on here, and like I said, I can't remember the name of the bulbs in here, but they didn't last too long. So hopefully they're not ox beam. Uh-oh, boys. I have a bad feeling that uh, I'm running the same bulbs in here. They look like ox beams to me. Friggin' right they are. Oh, welly. So anyways, first thing we want to do is pop the headlight out. Somehow. Actually, you know what? You might not have to. Well, let's pop it out anyway. How the hell did these come out, boys? I can't remember. Get out of there, you son of a beaver. Eh, eh, eh. Frick sakes. Don't tell me I have to take all that off. Friggin' right I have to. Oh man. Let's get these out. Thanks for the warranty replacement headlight bulbs for the old Kia Oxbeam. Since the ones I'm pulling out of here that are flickering like crazy are Oxbeams. So hopefully we don't have the same problem. I thought they were nanos for some reason. But it could be they just overheated and got all dicked over and whatnotted. So I'm not gonna hold them against them, I eat. Especially for how bright these things are. They were de e e And that's not coming out with a dick. Try a little pickage tool. Nothing like a good pickage tool, boys. That always gets the plastic little doodads out pretty quickly. Friggin' right it does. Look at that, eh? Look at that, boys. We got a sticky wicket, we do. Decent, 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 decent. Don't need that right now. So, there it is, boys. There's a little doodad you lift up. You pull a little pin on there, pull this side off so don't forget. And then the headlight should just fall right out, boys. Maybe, hey? Maybe. Get out of there. Oh, there. Something's happening. There she is, boys. Easy. Careful. Gentle. So there we go. There's the headlight, boys. And I just pulled that right out of the damn thing. So let's snap that back in. Oh, there we go. snap a So we'll get this headlight out of here. And like I said, Oxbeam was nice enough to send me another set. Because that one was giving a little flicky flicky. So like I said, Oxbeam, hopefully I don't have the same problem. But they were in there for about a year, boys. So in the Kia, these just slide in like so. The old ding dong goes down to the wing wing. Careful. And then this goes down and clips on, boys. That's all there is to it, eh? In. Freaking right it's in. So now we'll just plug this back in like so. Holy shit, boys. That was freaking easy it was. So now we'll slide this back in like so. I took off the back plate so the headlights get cooled, eh? You don't want to keep them closed. Maybe they're flickering because they got wet. Who knows? It's probably my fault, not Oxbeam's. Thanks a lot again, Oxbeam, for sending these bad boys. And uh, we'll be sure to let my fans know that they're still working, boys. Get on there, you son of a beaver. So we'll slide this back in here like so, eh? Like so. We'll slide that back in here like so. Gonna line her up just right, boys. It's all in how you hold your tongue, it is. Oh, something's happening. There she is, boys. Hey, in like Flynn. So we'll slide this down here like so, and uh, we'll put the bolt back in like so. And we can call her a friggin' day on this side. Move on to that side. And I wasn't gonna change the other one, but I figured, why wouldn't you? Might as well put two new ones in. Might as well make them the same. How's this look over here? Pretty good? Decent. So we'll pull this out like so. 
Give her the old unscrew job. And we'll give her a Yankee Danky. Oh, careful. Oh, easy. Oh, gentle. Don't be afraid to give her some love, boys. It gets hooked on the bottom of the bumper over here. That's why it has a minute to get out. There she is. Let's unplug this one this time. We'll unplug her first, we will. Give her the unplug job. Pop the harness back in. Then clip the headlight, pull her out. Take a look at her. She looks pretty decent. It must have been overheating. When I first put these in, it, they were in here for about six months with the lid on. So they weren't breathing. What if that fan seized up? Nope, fan's still moving, boys. So we got a spare bulb I do. Why does it have a knob on there? I've always wondered that. It's got a knob, it does. I'll have to look at that later and figure it out. We'll stick this one in, and then we'll lock her down. That's all there is to it, boys. Did you see that? Probably not. And then we'll plug her in, boys. Give her the old plug job. Decent. So now we're slide her back in the hole. Careful. Easy. Plug the old harness in. Slide that in. Slide that in. Push down. Slide her in. Yeah. Decent. Friggin' right, it's decent. There we go. So now I'll put the pin in. Next time I do this, I'm gonna remember that I can probably get to that without pulling that shroud off. But hey, it is what it is. And then we'll put the nut in. I gotta figure out how to adjust key headlights too. There must be adjustment here somewhere for these headlights that I'm not sure where, boys. If anybody knows, leave your comments below. But I can't see anything. That's all there is to installing the friggin' bulbs in the old Kia, which is nothing. Like I said, Oxbeam was nice enough to send me another pair, they were. I didn't remember what was in the Kia, but I had a flickering passenger side Oxbeam, so let me know if you know why that would happen. But uh, I'm thinking it's maybe because when they're in there, with the cover turned on the headlights, they weren't breathing enough. And it may be causing the overheat. We got them switched out. Like I said, they've always been nice and bright, boys. They've always been a nice headlight. Oxbeams treat me right, they have. Oxbeam stands behind their product, boys. Freaking right they do. See, I got a pair of brand new Nanos here too, but we'll talk about them later. Well, let's turn these headlights on and see what kind of brightness we get. Here's the key for the Kia, boys. There we go. How do they look? High beam, low beam. High beam, low beam. High beam. The fans are working, boys. Listen to that. Holy, are they ever loud? That's a built-in supercharger. Got a built-in supercharger on the headlights, boys. Anyways, that's high beam. We'll go back to low beam, Will. Decent. Friggin' right, it's decent. Hey, I didn't know Mom had these down here. What the hell? What's really going on? How do you turn them son of a beavers on? Ah, decent. I bet you she didn't even know she had them. I wonder what bulbs they are, boys. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, not tonight. Hey, Oxby, if you have more bulbs that fit the key at the bottom, let me know so we match them up, eh? Friggin' right, why wouldn't you? But anyways, boys, there you go. Nice little ox beams installed on the Kia Reski. And hopefully uh, we have zero issues with these ones like we did the other ones. It's not me driving the Kia, so who the hell cares, boys? So what if they flickered a little bit, hey? So what if they flickered, boys? Just pissed people right off, they did. But like I said, Oxbeam, thanks for sending these lights again. I really appreciate it. You know, I appreciated the first ones. I'm sure it was my error why one was flickering. Like I said, boys, I'm gonna keep saying it so you don't blame Oxbeam. Pretty sure that I overheated the bulbs by uh, putting the old lens cast back on. Nowhere to breathe, because listen to them. Like, they need some serious cooling, they do, because they're nice and bright, boys. So if you're putting your Oxbeam bulbs in your car and it's an enclosed headlight, make sure you don't put the seal on the back, boys. I know somebody's gonna say, well, then the headlight's gonna get filled with moisture. Hey boys, they're not gonna get that much dirt down in there. Hey, it's not like there's a wheel well splashing right into it. And it's better than frying your friggin' super bright ox beam lights. Pretty right it is. There we go. Kia El Dunno. Anyways, thanks for watching a short little video with Bill Sof here on installing the old ox beams in the Kia. Brought to you by Ox Beam. Friggin' right it is. Brought to you by Ox Beam, boys. But anyways, hopefully everybody's had a good day like me and kept nice and busy like I have. And uh, until next time, you know what to do for now.